How to make a null edit like this using the CapCut app. Here I am already in the CapCut editing project with a black background in it. If you have your own background, use yours. After that, import all the PNG character images you have into the overlay track. Then match the duration with the background. Next, cut the beginning of each overlay clip from the second to the last, to look like this. Or, you can also cut it by adding a music and following the beat. After that, right at the start of the second clip, place the character's position to the right. Then for the first clip, Set the position and size a little smaller and a little higher like this. Then give it a keyframe. At the start, it's up to you. Like I put it at the bottom and slightly enlarge the size. So the result is like this. Continue to the second clip. Right at the start of the third clip. This time place the character to the left. As for the second character clip, adjust the position and size to be smaller, then add a keyframe. And for the start of the clip, drag diagonally down to the right like this, while enlarging the size as well. Not finished yet, on the first character, reduce its size again, and drag diagonally to the top right. So the animation will be like this. Repeat the steps as above for the other character clips until you get a smooth zigzag animation. This is what my result looks like. Next step, give the graphs effect called Ease Out 3 or cubic out in the latest version to all keyframe animations that have been created. And then, export it first. Create a new project again, and add the exported video. Then here, I will change the aspect ratio to portrait. Right when the first character animation ends, set its size and position. And give it a keyframe. Then at the start position. I will drag it to the bottom while enlarging its size again. So the result will be like this. Next, at the end of the second character animation, simply drag diagonally to the top left like this. And so on until the last character animation. The last step, give the graph's cubic out effect again to all keyframe animations. And done. Here are the results.